This is a case of an insertion of a piggyback implant, a star AQ5010, on top of a true line. The patient with a true line had a one diopter of a myopic refractive surprise. She wanted that corrected, and we opted to go with an AQ5010 piggyback as a solution. I am delivering the AQ5010 piggyback through an AMO Silver Series inserter. I find that this is the easiest way for me to deliver this implant with very large haptics. I'm dialing the AQ5010 in and trying to separate the haptics so they are 90 degrees apart. I find that gives the best stability in the eye. Before I start IA, I am going to insert a little bit of myocol into the anterior chamber. This way, the iris will start coming down. As you can see right now, I'm putting the myocol in. The haptics are 90 degrees apart between the true line and the piggyback. Then I start with low flow irrigation aspiration to remove the viscoelastic. I lower my bottle height. I go into a lower setting for my irrigation aspiration and very gently tap on the optic of the piggyback to remove all of the viscoelastic. Additional myocol is inserted into the anterior chamber right now for further meiosis.